Welcome to Florida Statements, I'm Morgan Berman. Florida State University has a large veteran population. Their group holds a film festival each year. The 2016 Student Veteran Film Festival will be held November 12th in the Ruby Diamond Concert Hall. Here to speak with us about this annual event is Vince Williams from Collegiate Veterans Association and Erica Menendez from the Veteran Student Union. Welcome guys. Hi. Hi, so Vince, tell us a little bit about how many veterans are at FSU and uh, currently, we have 380 veterans uh, that are actively going full-time at FSU and using the GI Bill, and then another 1,100 that are dependents that are using the GI Bill. Wow. And Erica, tell us a little bit about the film festival. So every year we have, <coughs> sorry, every year we have a film festival to basically highlight veterans' issues and just generally bring students around something, some military culture, because I know I, as a regular student, didn't have an opportunity to experience military culture until I got into the Collegiate Veterans Association and the Veterans Student Union. So it's our opportunity to bring military culture and veterans issues to the rest of the campus community. And what kind of activities take place during the festival? So we start off with a reception and then we bring everyone into Ruby Diamond Concert Hall where we start off with opening remarks and then we show a film that highlights some sort of veterans issue or veterans culture. And then afterwards, you get an opportunity to speak with the directors, and we do a Q&A with the directors. And then it's over. How are the films picked? Uh, whatever calls to us that year. Right. Something that's new and brings light to what we feel like needs brought light to that year. And Vince, how do you get involved with the um, So with the Collegiate Veterans Association, our main focus is our student veteran population. and to uh, get them the best resources to help them graduate uh, and find jobs after they uh, post-graduation. Um, anytime we get need or can get help, we do from outside sources, such as Erica is our VSU uh, director. Um, and anybody wants to come and help us, we're always open for volunteers. Um, you can come to the Veteran Center at Doe Campbell and uh, if you have any questions and want to volunteer, we can find a place for you. Sounds good. How are the films directed? Are they Hollywood films? Are they made in-house at FSU? So they're not in-house. They're directors from anywhere else in the country. Um, it's documentaries, typically. It's not, it doesn't have to be a documentary, but we've always chosen a documentary. So there's no specific rhyme or reason to Right. where they're filmed or why we chose that specific one besides it's the issue that we want to focus on. What's this year's issue focusing on? So this year we chose a film that's called Citizen Soldier and it focuses on the National Guard and we just want to bring light to hey the National Guard is within the U.S. they all live among us in the U.S. and they do deploy too and just bring light to that they live within us in everyday life so don't just always assume that the person next to you isn't a veteran. What do you guys hope people will learn through the Veteran Film Festival? Um, my biggest thing is to shine light on veterans um, are your average person. Um, that's one of the CVA's biggest goals is uh, to help veterans assimilate into society because right. unlike uh, what has been happening in the past with the Vietnam War, which uh, when veterans left uh, that that they were completely um, one off from society. So now we're trying to assimilate as best possible and give our veterans the best uh, possible choice to be successful, successful members of society. I'll build off of that. Yeah, um, go ahead. So our motto here is integration, not segregation. So the film festival is my first experience as an event with veterans and it gave me an opportunity to learn more about the military culture and society and also be around a bunch of veterans at once and get to know them as people. So it's an opportunity to integrate the veterans within campus community. How can people find out more information about the Veterans Film Festival? So we have our website um, that you can find on our veterans website that you can get through through FSU, my, no, fsu.edu, I'm pretty sure, the main FSU website. Um, there's a Veterans tab, and then within the Veterans tab, you'll find information on the Film Festival. Um, we also have Veterans Film Fest. Dot, you just put it on the screen and I missed it. It's okay. <laughs> .fsu.edu. Um, that's a great way to find information. We'll have a Facebook group up um, so you can get real-time information on what we have planned for the night. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. awesome. Thanks so much for joining us and explaining more about the Veterans Film Festival and how to get involved with veterans on campus. The FSU Student Veteran Film Festival raises awareness of veterans' issues. The film festival will be held November 12th in the Ruby Diamond Concert Hall. To find more information about this film and ticket details, visit their website, vetfilmfest.fsu.edu. That's it for this Florida Statement segment. You can see other interviews throughout the week on 4FSU. Remember, if you're 4FSU, then you're watching Comcast Channel 4. I'm Morgan Berman. Thanks for watching.